हेलो एवरीवन दिस साइड निसर्ग पटेल थर्ड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग एट जीएमआरएस मेडिकल कॉलेज गोत्री व्हिच इज इन वडोदरा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैव जस्ट क्लियर्ड देयर फर्स्ट ईयर इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ व्हाटएवर द रिजल्ट इज गोइंग टू बी बट यू डू डिजर्व एन अप्रिसिएशन फॉर योरसेल्फ सो वेरएवर यू आर जस्ट स्टैंड अप एंड क्लैप फॉर योरसेल्फ और जस्ट पैट योरसेल्फ बिकॉज़ यू डिजर्व दिस अप्रिसिएशन now you are going to approach another professional year that is your second professional year so take a good break and then resume gradually because this year is going to be a lot more challenging as compared to the first year but don't worry i've got you covered with a perfect guide for the second year and also i do have a surprise for you at the end of the video so stay tuned for it so the second year of mbbs is the perfect welcome year because here First of all you will going to experience the ward posting. Ward postings are the perfect exposure to the hospital scenario and how you are going to interact with the patients, how to deal with them, how to take histories. Secondly, just like first year, you will have three main subjects to study. That is pathology, microbiology and pharmacology. These subjects are very essential because they are going to create a perfect foundation for the clinical subjects which you are going to read learn and struggle with in the final year so it is very essential to focus on both the aspects of the second year but don't worry i am going to help you so as i mentioned you are going to attend your ward postings so here you will be taught to take a history of a patient also you will learn how an outpatient department works how an inpatient department works and also you might be taught something related to the department you are posted in but this highly depends on the workload of the department and also the unit you are posted because they do have a lot much workload than us humko to jaake sirf padhai karni hai and we do have to learn something or the other secondly even if you do not understand anything in the wards do not take tension or do not load yourself too much about it in order to actually understand how a disease works uh, you need to have a pathology and microbiology base so don't worry the key take away point for the ward posting should be that first of all learn how to talk to a patient learn how to take a proper history of a patient and trust me on this if even if you have great amount of knowledge even if you are going to top your second professional year exams but after clearing your second year if you are not able to take a proper history my friend you are not a good doctor because a good doctor diagnoses a case based on its history and not on whatever knowledge you have gained so make sure you do attend the board postings even if taking histories every day and even if waking up every day for wards becomes a bit tedious but please make sure that you attend ward posts so what should your study approach look like in the second professional year after completing my second professional year i feel like there are two patterns to which you can approach your second professional year to study the three subclinical subjects which are in the second professional year first is going to be a marks oriented pattern What do I mean by marks oriented pattern you are someone to which just studying on exams feels comfortable and you do want to score great marks but just study at the time of exams concept oriented you are someone who feels that if you learn a concept you can just write up answers in exam on your own and marks don't matter until you pass the exam so this is what concept oriented pattern is so why do i need to classify or why do i need to choose in between which pattern i want to follow this pattern is going to help you choose which books you are going to study the second professional year and also please avoid switching in between these two patterns because it would be a bit more difficult for you and dekhte dekhte pura saal khatam ho jayega and you will just achieve no result so make sure you do choose wisely whichever pattern you wish to choose and a pro tip would be to stay calm approach 2 3 months 
learn how your two three months in second professional year are going and after that choose whichever pattern or you want to choose so moving on to the next part which books are you going to use in your second professional years and i hope you have made a choice from the previous section and if you have not then go back to the previous section and do choose a pattern so that i can help you in order to choose which books you are going to study looking at the marks oriented list for books if you uh, have chosen this pattern then for pathology you should use ramdas nayak or harsh mohan for microbiology you are going to use apurva shastri for pharmacology you are going to use the magical book of pharmacology that is shanbagh and for concept oriented list of books uh, for pathology there is going to be robins which is also the most beautiful book which you will ever study in your entire mbbs and for microbiology the same book apurva shastri why so we'll look at in the next section and for pharmacology there is kd tripathi as compared to the first year second year has a little bit less options for the books you could refer to but these books are very well written and my friends as well as i have referred to them and i can guarantee you that it is going to help you a lot so have a good physiology base and you can just casually read whichever you book you wish to read now comes the surprise part of the video so let's build a study approach for you so that it is a lot easier and you do not have to switch in between the videos to look for a study approach first the marks oriented study approach in marks oriented study approach the first step is to get the book and you can either download the pdf of the book or actually buy a physical one a physical one it is a bit more comfortable next next step is to actually plan your schedule a month before the exams are going to come but also prepare for the ward which you are posted in because that ward might have a ward and exam which will clash with your exams and this does happens my friend next for pathology pathology is a subject where you are going to study the disease how the disease actually develops in our body so what you need to remember is first of all the pathogenesis of the disease you are taught second learn the gross features learn the microscopic features and actually learn the examples of whatever the disease is concerned with and only focus Uh, per se for the topics which are important for the exam rather than learning each and every topic and focusing or giving more time on the unimportant ones for the important topics ask your seniors for whatever important topics are for pathology or actually go back and look to the past 5 years paper and whichever question is repeated frequently focus more on that topic for microbiology there's nothing but rectification what is rectification just take your book and start mugging approach microbiology a little bit earlier because this is just like biochemistry you will have to just learn there's no concept behind it now if a microorganism is causing a disease it will cause it without a concept so if you cannot uh, mug anything then my friend you are going to struggle because in first internal and second internal i myself struggled with this so much so that i also had to switch to just mugging so please start early for microbiology that is one and a half months before your exam for pharmacology first start learning with the classification of the drug groups and this is what a first internal would help you to pass and further when you are actually taught drugs then for the important drugs learn the mechanism of action adverse drug reactions pharmacological actions and the therapeutic uses of the drugs you will have to repeatedly uh, revise whatever is in the three subjects because it's not like first year that you will learn something uh, in just one reading so take time and actually revise a lot much two three times at least is much as is required in order to clear your theory exams or viva 
and for the marks oriented approach i would say that these books are basically in a question answer pattern so don't waste your time making notes instead just revise uh, repeatedly now let's look at the concept oriented approach to the second year for pathology robins jitna main robins ke liye kahu that is very much less because robins is one standard book which you should read in your entire mbbs i won't force you for any other book but please read robins robins is a story book it is going to actually explain you about any disease you choose in such a simpler way it is a bit bulky but it is less as compared to the gaitan of first year but once you have read robins it is going to create so good base for your surgery and medicine that after the second year is over you will realize that whatever time you invested reading in robins was worth it now how to read robins in order to read robins you need to start slow but stay consistent and gradually pace up do not waste time on unimportant topics even if they seem beautiful actually focus on the important topics and also get a good video resource for the second year i would say that physics wala ranjit sir is awesome because he actually teaches you from whatever robins has to teach you so it is a bit easier but also other platforms uh, like prep ladder or marrow the teachers would also teach you from robins for microbiology it's nothing but rectification so it's the same as what was discussed in the marks oriented approach for pharmacology kd tripathi is a bit bulky book why it's bulky because sometimes the font just decreases to this little or sometimes it's very much high uh, this does not make it bulky but it is a bit tedious to read if you are starting reading before actually preferring to a video resource actually approach it in a reverse pattern first complete the chapter from the video resource now for video resource prep ladders ankit sir or actually physics wala has ankit sir's video which are of 2 years back but it is a bit helpful and also in pharmacology it is very essential to get the latest edition of kd tripathi because the guidelines on how to approach a disease change every year so make sure that you focus on getting a new one a new edition of kd tripathi now what all to uh, keep in mind before reading kd tripathi is what i told that first complete a video resource regarding the chapter then at the end read kd tripathi and highlight the important points we can which you can include in your answer also as i told what is important is to focus on a disease management uh, related to the drugs which is given in kd tripathi so at the end i would like to say is whichever approach you have to second year make sure you do study and also at the same time take breaks take breaks do nothing enjoy your second year hang out with friends learn something actually utilize your ward postings a lot because at the end that is going to help you also these three clinical subjects will help you a lot so at the end i would like to say that all the best for your second year do not worry do not stress at all and even if you stress have friends from which you can share your feelings and at the end please make sure that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel because this gives me motivation to create more such videos because i do need to take out time from my busy schedule So yeah bye bye and all the best for the second year don't forget to smile